Okay, everyone, this is Dr. Beal's quick tour. We're gonna to be doing the nerve roots and branches of the spinal nerve here. But just real quick, if we look at the cross section of the, um, the spinal cord here, this longer, thinner gray portion of gray matter here would be your uh, dorsal horn, that's sensory. The ventral horn is this one here. And the lateral horn, they're representing with this lovely little bump on the side. The dorsal columns, is the white matter here on this dorsal side. The, uh, the lateral columns or lateral funiculus is on the side. And then the anterior funiculus or ventral funiculus is the white matter on this side. It's about all you can see on this one. There's a little dimple where the central canal is, but not ideal. If we look at the nerves coming out of the side, uh, it's, it's very nice to get your bearings. If you're kind of confused, always look for the dorsal root ganglion. That's gonna be the bump on the dorsal nerve root, which is this one. If I swing it around on this model, they've represented the rootlets by putting them on, painting them on the model itself. So these would be dorsal rootlets, dorsal nerve root, dorsal root ganglion. If we flip this back around to this side, these are your ventral nerve rootlets painted on the model. This is your ventral nerve root. Where the dorsal and ventral nerve roots come together, right here for a hot second before it branches, this is the spinal nerve. Now the spinal nerve trifurcates. That means it, it has three branches coming off it. So as you move laterally, this branch that's going straight posterior that's the posterior ramus or posterior branch of the spinal nerve. The one that comes straight out laterally, lighting is not good. This one coming straight out laterally would be the anterior ramus of the spinal nerve. That's gonna swing around the body and move around to the front. And then there's two branches coming off anteriorly or ventrally. Those are the rami communicantes. The one closest to the spinal cord, this one, is the gray ramus communicans. The one that's lateral, this one here, is the white ramus communicans. So uh, G comes before W, I always say. So gray is this one, white is this one. Those are taking the sympathetics to and from the sympathetic chain and the ganglion. So this is a sympathetic ganglion. This bump is a sympathetic ganglion. The whole thing is, is the sympathetic chain and it's got its ganglia. So that's all we're doing on this model.